Hey guys, this is Alex from Starco Gaming with 3.0 coming out our door uh, later today or tomorrow morning, depending uh, where you actually live, guys. Uh, we are in preparation to get everything ready to uh, be able to give you guys the best possible stream as soon as. Uh, 3.0 is released so don't forget about that guys go on my channel uh, the event is already there you can set a reminder uh, we will be streaming as soon as the update uh, uh, it goes live but before that guys we need to get ready but even before that guys I think that we need to watch the trailer together so let's watch this right now Wow, man, that baby Groot, Groot, so fucking cute. Let's be honest. Okay, let's turn the sound up a little bit on my game now. Okay, so guys, with uh, the update coming uh, in the next few hours, uh, we are starting to get ready for it. Uh, let's. I will show you what we have ready so far uh, in materials and everything to be ready. Uh, you know, to uh, get uniform, upgrade characters as soon as they're released. So let's go in the inventory, you guys, first. Like you can see, I got a bunch of tickets here. Uh, got three uh, mega rank up tickets, two mastery mega tickets, four five star uh, rank up tickets. Uh, already announced that we are going to get a two star three star four star five star and six stars rank up ticket uh, when the update go live uh, we got four tier two ticket four tier two ticket we're getting three characters what the hell are we going to do with four tier two ticket guys well I think that we need to tier two a new character, guys. That's going to, uh, well, a Guardian Galaxy character is for sure. That's getting a uh, uniform and everything. So, guys, here we have three choices. Uh, we could go with a uh, Rocket Raccoon. Uh, yeah, we could go with him. We could go with a Star Lord. Star Lord. I don't know, man. And we got Gamora. Uh, personally, my preference is actually Gamora, but. You know, guys, our gear is only at level 15, so uh, we're going to have to pass on there. So, guys, we are going to tier 2. Who? Let's see. Inventory tier 2 ticket. Use. I got a lot of choice if I wasn't going to do the cards in the galaxy here, guys. But we are going to do Star Lord, guys. With the new uniform, he's getting uh, his leadership getting a lot stronger. Hopefully, we're going to get a uh, you know new skill animation and everything. That's going to make him much stronger. So, guys, now we are tattooing Star Lord. Now, guys, you saw. Uh, I got three. Uh, tier 2 ticket left, so we're going to have a tier 2 ticket for Mendes, a tier 2 ticket for a Whiplash, and a tier 2 ticket for uh, Agent Venom Hunt. If actually, uh, when I can actually max his gear, I don't have a mega tier 2 ticket, so it's going to take a few weeks before I have his uh, gear maxed, sadly. And uh, he's actually one of my favorite Marvel characters. Uh, Characters from the Marvel Universe, so it kind of sucks. That I can again tier two right away, but it's a paywall, so we gotta be patient about that. Uh, so uh, my two mega are actually going to get dropped on Mantis 
and we we'll flash a release guys uh, after that I'm going to I'm going to use my biometric selector on a agent venom uh, we're going to use the two three four five six rank up to get that and that marble is giving us a with uh, the update release uh, we're going to use them all on agent venom so it's going to be six stars live on the stream still but <coughs> the plants to the, today tomorrow whatever you watch that stream <laughs> uh, in your country <coughs> the plan is to tier to whiplash and mantis live guys we got uh, lots of uh, xp chips hopefully we'll have enough to get both of them to level 60 uh, we got a tier ticket and we got biometrics guys let's see here that uh, here we got <coughs> 1075 biometrics save for the update guys so hopefully that will give us enough biometrics to get both of those characters to tier 2 uh, hopefully we'll get lucky because about 500 biometrics each characters I hope it's going to be enough to get them uh, their gear uh, fully maxed so most likely we're going to tier 2 two characters live in the live stream uh, but if we are unlucky uh, if our RNG sucks for us <laughs> with the string well the first characters we're actually going to tier 2 is Mantis I've been expecting that characters for a long time and I'm really excited to have her aboard so she's going to be the first tier 2 we're going to get and guys also you can see I got 5000 crystal 5 uniforms coming out at 750 crystal each like we don't even need to do the mats we got enough crystal to get every single uniform and all that said guys with getting Agent Venom to 6 stars uh, Mantis Webflash to tier 2 and all the 5 uniforms guys we are going to be testing every single character and uniform live in the live stream in the real game mode we're not going to do the training room fuck that shit training room is for noobs well, I mean noob streamer guys not for uh, free to play player they are not noobs they're just free to play player <laughs> but uh, noob streamers use the training room R good streamers like me <laughs> uh, we actually get everything up uh, so guys hopefully we're going to have an amazing stream uh, and uh, that's what we're going to have for the stream next guys uh, I actually want to go uh, over the patch note with you guys so you know we can discuss uh, what we like from the patch note what we don't like so let's move to the patch note right here okay so first uh, like I said we are getting three new characters five new new uniform uh, five new uniform sorry guys and a bunch of other stuff that hopefully we're going to enjoy <laughs> uh, three new characters we have agent venom uh, agent venom what can we say about him so far he's going to be a combat characters he's going to be paywall and basically he is going to be unkillable uh, when you have uh, when you play him on manual like seriously look at that with max kill cooldown you have uh, guard hits for five hits for five seconds, but that is based on uh, level one skill. So, uh, like usually, it's eight guard hits for eight seconds when that start with five five. So uh, that is huge. Then you have uh, apply to sell f with the last kill, invincible for five seconds, uh, and it will last. Uh, the cooldown will be nine seconds. Like seriously, how can you even take damage with that guy? This is crazy uh, also uh, at tier 1 you have uh, is tier 1 passive is increase all attack by uh, well 25% chance when attack apply to self increase all attack by 6% all speed by 6% in critical rate by 6% and with the tier 2 passive it's actually it ends the skills venom frizzy frenzy which is the tier 1 passive so uh, I don't know how much they are going to increase it uh, we'll see it when they actually go live but that will make him really really strong plus he gets his own leadership uh all ally uh 
increased physical attack by uh, well five percent at start uh, well which will be a uh, six thirty uh, percent at the end so that is for uh, agent venom I'm, I have so much such a big uh, expectation from this character being one of the my favorite uh, characters of all time in Marvel Universe after uh, L Storm. So I am really excited. Uh, the only thing I could say that I'm disappointed in is that they went with the new look from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I wish they went with the whole school look like we had in uh, Marvel Avenger Alliance and in the Sp Spider Man uh, uh, TV show, uh, which was fucking awesome that was the best look i i thought but hey they went with that look we'll have to uh, go with it and next guys we have mantis <coughs> uh mantis well her leadership is uh it's crap it's like venom leadership just the cruise debuff duration which i'm not really excited about uh after that, well, she has a tier 1 passive, she has a self-healing, uh, when, when HP is below 90%, apply to self-recover uh, by 5% of match HP, uh, the cooldown is 7 seconds, so every 7 seconds, it's if you actually get a cap recovery rate, you'll heal for like, I think it's something like 12% of your HP or 13, 12.5% HP every 7 seconds, which is huge. Uh, our tier 2 passive and actually apply to all allies like uh, Coulson a uh, tier 2 uh, Yeah, tier 2 passive or Warwolf tier 2 passive. So uh, if she's in the team uh, Everybody gets uh, critical damage by 20% and ignore defense by 15% basically This character is the perfect characters for people who has low in your defense on their cards they will put that character in the team uh, and that will increase increase their uh, oh god my English sucks today uh, well, inc well their uh, damage output uh, so it's really awesome other than that she is a blast character I'm a bit disappointed in that uh, I will see I will have seen her as a speed character so we need more speed like that but hey what if we'll deal with it and also she has a dodge uh, rate buff um, at rank 1, it's uh, increased dodge rate by 5%, so I'm guessing it's going to be around 60% too. Uh, it lasts 20 seconds in the cooldown, with max kill cooldown, it's going to be about 15 seconds, so you can keep that dodge buff up at all time. And it applies to all allies, so uh, if, it wor if it works properly, uh, you could pop the buff, switch to another characters, and still have the dodge rate buff. So uh, that is pretty awesome. Then you have uh, the fifth skills uh, applied to enemy fear because she is a psychic. After all, she's martial artist psychic, and she can heal. Uh, so basically, they went really, they brought everything together. You know, martial arts, uh, the dodge, uh, the healing with the tier one, a uh, tier two passive, and the psychic with the fear. Plus, it applies to all ally, increase critical damage critical rate of by 5% but only for one second so it's not a buff you're going to you know be able to oh I pop the buff and I switch no it's only going to uh, increase damage on that specific it pretty much so that is for uh, Mantis next uh, next uh, new heroes we actually getting is Whiplash uh, kind of weird to see Whiplash in Guardian Galaxy uh, universe but uh, hey they had to bring it oh, in the one way or another. I would rather them to actually made something with ego, but hey, we got whiplash. We're we'll gonna deal with it. Uh, basically, whiplash uh, applied to all allies uh, decrease skill cooldown by four percent. I probably use less buff now with the cards, but hey, some people still need it. Uh, tier one passive applied to self increase damage dealt uh, by eighty percent from skill to a machine type characters and that actually might be uh, useful for uh, alliance uh, battle extreme not sure uh, you know we'll test it but I don't think that you could actually replace uh, Coulson at all uh, 
since the beast is where you actually get most of the uh, damage in Alliance Battle Extreme Blast Day. Uh, tier 2 passive, uh, increase lightning damage by 30%. Increase target dodge rate by 20%. Increase kill damage. Uh, well, you know, they're regular here. Uh, so, it's actually a good uh, lightning damage buff. Could be useful for a leadership for Tor and that kind of character. So, it's not that bad. Uh, he gets as a second skill, he actually get a blind. Uh, a bind, sorry. Uh, bind basically is just make the target cannot attack you while you have that. Uh, it's third skill. Um, yeah, it's third skill. Apply to self. Uh, apply to enemy stun. Uh, one second. Apply to self. Hundred cents or hundred percent chance to penetrate with energy immunity, physical immunity, and all damage immune. Invincible effect. One second. So basically, you can land one hit through the shield to any immune damage in the game so it is pretty useful uh, then you have his fourth skill that will uh, apply to self uh, increasing your defense and increase lightning damage so basically this character doesn't need in your defense at all I'm guessing because uh, you pretty much have uh, you're going to have 30% when you increase this skill to level 6 so 30% Plus whatever you got on your cards, you don't even need much on your cards to have this character uh, max. And you have a fifth skill that do another bind. So if you put those two binds together, there are there is six seconds of uh, of CC that this characters can uh, done. Uh, well, seven if you had the stun from the fourth skill. A third skill so it is pretty awesome so like they say here mantis asian venom and whiplash being added to the game and mantis and whiplash are available through the dimension chest i wish they had actually bring a new game mode for that for guards in the galaxy and stuff but hey they weren't lazy honestly i feel this uh, that with a six week uh update that uh, well wait on the update they could brought something better to for those guys to get those character and shit but hey they did it like that we have to deal with it um then agent venom is available via, via the get 20 biometrics daily package like i said he is a paywall characters paywall characters two months in a row well two updates in a row uh pretty disappointed here to be honest uh now we have the new uniform first we have star lord uniform uh star lord uniform you get increased dodge rate by uh 10 percent and 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 its effect a skill legendary outlaw uh, level one blast type arrow energy damage increased by 10 percent and level six blast type arrow energy damage increased by 50 percent so if i read it right by the end of this if I read it right, instead of having 45% increase energy damage, damage to blast type characters, you get 50%. Unless they're going to add both together, I don't know. It's, you know, their wording in English sometimes can be really confusing. Some people think that we're actually going to get 95% increase energy damage uh, to hero, and some people think it's going to be 50%. Honestly, we're going to wait. Uh, when we're gonna see when the update actually is live I'm pretty sure that it's only a 5% increase because 95% increase damage will be just fucking ridiculous in my opinion okay next uh, we get Gamora your uniform apply to self 30% in your defense and other characters that not, is not going to require any in your defense uh, on her stats anymore because she is going to have some really cool in our defense hopefully she get a new skill animation with iframe and such so she can actually survive better and be actually pretty good character and then we have rocket raccoon uh, activation raid 20 percent chance when attacking uh, apply to self recover uh, by five percent max xp uh, cooldown is 15 seconds cooldown is a bit long uh, since rocket raccoon i usually is in arms way so uh i'm not sure that's going to be really good but that also 
everything depends on those uniform on the skill change that are actually going to happen if they happen so for that they don't give us any details yet so we have to actually wait on uh, the update to be released to see all of that then we have the coolest thing ever created in the Marvel game, guys. A baby Groot uniform. Like, look at him. He is so fucking cute. I could eat him. <laughs> so basically, a baby Groot gets applied to self increased recovery rate by 15%, which is nuts. Increased dodge rate by 7%, which is going to be helpful a lot. So basically, you can build a recovery rate dodge rate uh, set up on your Groot and basically you're going to be unkillable. I don't know if you noticed in the video we just uh, we shared the start of the the video. Uh, well the trailer we shared the start of the video. You see a baby Groot just you know jumping around putting a little uh, green circle everywhere. So I'm guessing that is the fifth skill is going to be that which is going to be really cool. So we're getting some kind of eye frame with baby Groot which is awesome cannot wait to see all the skill changes because they cannot keep any skills he had he has to get all new skills because he goes from big ass fucking tree to a little baby cutie thing <laughs> so it's going to be really interesting to see all his skills and uh, next you have captain american sharon rogers getting a uniform honestly guys that is overkill she didn't not need uniform she was really so fucking strong right now she's going to be so much stronger that is just ridiculous in my opinion especially with the uniform grade and all that stuff oh man she is going to be so strong but uh the uniform bonus she's getting is applied to self ignore target dodge rate by 20 percent which is pretty good she's going to be get a uh, stronger uh, especially in shallow lands he'll be able to fight those eye dodge floor really easy now uh, when the update goes live the new uniform are uh, going to be available for a discounted price for a short period which is 750 crystal uh, and uh, we like I said earlier once the update go lives we'll get all the uniform and we will be testing them all with uh, we're getting a look at the new skills and everything too guys okay guys next uh, well we have a new UI coming uh, you can see the look of the UI uh, it's actually look pretty good I think it looks better than it used to look uh, quality of life changes oh my god that is the best thing they add like the team bonus menu show now shows which skills character will use when use their co-op skills like here if you set up the first team the real old thunder thunderbolt uh, agent venom and when you use the purple bonnet will use the second skills electra second skills and real oak fifth skills like they tell you every s single thing so that really helps you to set up your team for the different stuff knowing what's going to happen when you press that purple button if you're not dumb enough to uh, not press it actually you know like people in world boss invasion <laughs> uh, the game will now uh, show you the condition required for characters to uh, strike uh, a characters to strike her in when selecting allies for wall boss uh, well you, you can see here guys uh, like uh, mentis here uh, the first one 50% chance when attacked uh, to actually go and strike uh, you can see Venom as 50% chance when attacking so they tell you everything so if you want to build uh, strikers to actually attack when you're attacking well you you will have a, a lot easier choice uh, to do it and like you can see now guys we actually getting 10 wall bus clear uh, unless it's a bad uh, <laughs> it's a bad screenshot well we're going to get five regular and five ultimate wall bus while well, we'll get to there later I think in my opinion but we'll see uh, the uniform menu will now display how much uh, uniform X 
how much uniform XP a uniform has, which is going to be awesome. Like, if you look uh, at the bottom right, you have Sharon Rogers. You see, she's about 75% XP on her uniform, which is nice. You don't have to click on every single character to actually see where their uniform is actually standing. Uh, next, I'll. As all characters now have their tier 2 upgrade, the tier 2 marker has been removed from the Marvel Universe universe, universe tab. So that's that's fine. Who cares about that? To be honest, it's all still nice to see who we had at tier 2. But hey, they think it's better like that. Well, we'll go with that. But guys, the next thing, a new search function has also been added. Guys, I've been asking for that in my live stream, and almost every single live stream been bitching about that and asking for that. We needed a search button because there are so many characters now, and you know, uh, when you're blind like me, <laughs> you always pass over the characters you're looking for, and you cannot find them. And sometimes you can spend two, three, four minutes just trying to find characters, which is pretty annoying. So that is going to be fucking awesome. Uh, arrows exclusive to the uh, biometrics daily uh, package now have an indicator in the get 20 at uh, the uh, biometrics daily package menu like you can see exclusive characters on agent venom kid keiju carnage uh, and chantress and you have it on electro uh, not electro iron art too well basically they just tell you hey those characters are pretty well get them <laughs> uh. You can now use crystal to increase your inventory up to 900 slots. To be honest, if the crystal cost was reduced, well, because you know, 100 crystal for 10 slots is fucking ridiculous. So, if they actually reduce the amount, uh, well, increase, like for a uh, tank, for 100 crystal, you get 100 slots. I think that a lot more people will actually get that uh, inventory up to 900 slots. Uh, arrow ranking screen will not stay on the last arrow you look at. Nobody cares. Uh, arrows which can be upgraded and will not be in front of their group. Example, if a player has 10 one star characters, the one star which can be upgraded to two star will appear first. That's fine. Nobody cares about that much either. Uh, out time events and other game modifi modifying events will be shown on the lobby. That is about fucking time. So many people don't even know about the odd times still. Because they don't read forums. They don't go click on the damn news, uh, news thing to see. Hey, what's... Oh, there's events here. Oh, there's an odd time event. Having that on the main screen, I think that it should have been there for a long time. Uh, next, we have Alliance Con quest mode guys uh, I mean conquest mode has been had three alliance will compete to rule a territory within a Wakanda alliances we are which are level 15 or either can enter alliance contest mode and leaders are the one who will choose whether an alliance compete or not so guys hopefully for you your leader is actually active <laughs> or you will be able to actually participate uh, there is no extra charge to participate in the Alliance occupation. There is a short application period after that three Alliance will be paired together to fight in an Alliance Conquest mode. Basically it looks like a little bit like the, I don't know if you guys know the Risk game, but it really looks like that. So that's going to be interesting. Um, Alliance uh, Conquest is divided into two phases. Uh, the battle phase is where you can attack other territories. Uh, defeat enemy troops and mark your area. The second phase is the prep phase. In air, you can switch character, which are defending area. Uh, selecting targets. Uh, as the conquest mode begins, three alliances will be randomly placed in their starting area. Member of uh, the alliance can attack area next to the zone to, uh, that their alliance own. On the defeat, the defending troops, they will occupy that area. You can see a small example of what we're going to have to deal with. Uh, the battle phase. Well, the battle phase is where I have a huge issue, guys. Again, again, and again. Fucking AI versus AI. Like, come on. We want to play the game mode. We don't want to watch it. 
We want to fucking play it. Come on, that marble. Get your shit together and get us a game mode we can actually play. Okay. That's for the renting, guys. But seriously, I'm sick of this AI versus AI. It is fucking ridiculous. But as a rule has been used, it can be used again until the next alliance conquest reset. After an area has been conquered, the unit that you attack uh, uh, will, will become the defense team of the area. Uh, Selling an area. Well, once an alliance has successfully uh, conquered, conquer an area for a period of time they will uh, seal the area whilst the area is being sealed while yeah while the area is being sealed other alliance can attack and try to cancel the sealing process if the area has been successfully sealed the area cannot be attacked and is owned by the basically owned by the alliance and there we got the area let's move to another area basically uh, the more time an area has been occupied by different alliance the longer it will take before the area is sealed okay you also have special abilities the alliance leader can also purchase special abilities to help the tide of the battle be favorable for them these special ability can be uh, purchased for alliance Point. So I uh, will see how it works. Uh, the alliance point, uh, everything. Uh. Well, the alliance point. You know, the alliance point. We were all wondering, uh, what the fuck is that when we actually do a donation? Well, that's where it's getting used. So that's why it's really important to keep the donation coming, guys. Uh, prep phase, changing defense team and collecting rewards. Uh, defense drop can be changed during the prep phase. Changing the defending team will cost a small amount of resources. So basically you can go with your attack team and then switch to uh, in the prep phase to a different team. But it will cost you resources. What will it cost? They don't say again. We have to wait till the game is actually live to know about that. In the prep phase, you can also restore your defeated heroes. Restoring a character will allow that character to be used in the battle again. I'm guessing again it will cost resources to actually get this done. Uh, during the prep phase, you can receive rewards depending on how many areas your alliance have, have conquered. Basically, like in the risk game, why uh, every turn you get... Uh, something for every zone you actually own uh, so uh, alliance conquest a uh, result and rewards after the alliance conquest mode concludes each alliance rank is ranked according to their score and the reward are paid uh, differently according to their rank like you can see here uh, Morbarium 2000 finish seconds they get 15,000 alliance xp and 15,000 uh, alliance store xp which is pretty good uh, now guys, wall bust ultimate mode. Uh, let's go through that. Wall bust ultimate mode has been had. Take on some of the most challenging content ever to the great wall bust stage. Wall bust ultimate mode will unlock after you have complete uh, a normal wall bust fight. So you do one fight, then you can move to ultimate mode. Similar similar to normal wall boss mode, you need to have at least three six star characters in order to play the mode. Um, there there are five levels difficulty for the wall boss ultimate mode. All players will start off on difficulty level one and work their way up to a difficulty number five. I'm guessing that each difficulty will give better rewards. Um, so far, they didn't say anything much about. It. Uh, in wall bus ultimate mode the bus will receive buff that will enchant and enhance their performance while player could receive the buff which will affect your characters as you rise through the levels you'll find this effect are amplified like not being able to switch cap to use a uh, werewolf fifth skills and switch you know that won't be possible but th that's awesome uh, you have five clear reward available, a bit, a little bit like uh, co-op modes, but I'm guessing it's only one run that's going to give you one reward. Uh, that's going to be awesome. It costs ten thousand gold to do a run. Uh, 
Uh, it's nice, no energy, nothing, just gold. That's going to be awesome. Uh, this mode can be entered as many times as you want. Auto, you can only collect rewards up to five times. And then, if you have collected all the rewards, you still need to pay the entrance cost, which is stupid. Uh, characters can be used against when you have completed the stage. That f that phrase, I'm, I still don't don't know if it means as you clear you get your five rewards you can uh, reuse the same team or if you can use the same team over and over and over we'll see we'll see when it's actually live uh, clearing the bus will allow you to challenge the next stage once you beat the stage you'll get to see how you clear time compared to the rest of the world to see who is ranked number one in the world for the fastest run which is a uh, it's fine for some people, for the really competitive people. Uh, it's good for them. Uh, next, guys, we have tutorial improvement. Well, we're not going to look at that too much. Basically, the uh, they have better uh, information when you do your tutorial. That's pretty much it. Uh, you have tips for uh, heroes ad. You can uh, get some uh, short tips on how to play characters and their uniform from the hero information tab. Press the yellow button. To find the universe, to find the information, which is pretty awesome. Like here, Ghost Rider Classic, you have the penance there, deal damage, and then, and then you have the repentance. Will deal, you know? They tell you uh, a little bit of how it works, so that's pretty good. Uh, we have store function improvement coming to a store change. The different store have now been combined into one store tab. Uh, from this tab, you can choose between five different stores to purchase items. You can have the feeder shop, the recharge, uniform, mission store, and token. Basically, feature shop is here. You can purchase chest items and other various items, uh, which are not uh, in any of the other sections. Uh, the recharge, this menu contain crystal, gold, and energy cells. Uniform, well, it contains uniforms, death. Uh, mission shop at uh, this uh, store contain all the items which are awarded over time uh, for Tony to Stark stat uh, 20 biometrics daily so that make it easier to actually go for that and you have the token store you can purchase thing with honor and chaos token there uh, other improvement guys uh, if certain current condition are met during a stage a short dialogue sequence will appear between characters which is pretty cool uh, the condition are when you start a stage that is associated with a specific hero when the hero associate associated with a particular hero appears as strikers and when a certain boss are associated with uh, her hero that's going to be cool when you play on manual uh, you know to see those dialogue and read them and you know feel like you are in in the story that's going to be pretty cool and you can see too guys there's actually for the cooldown now on uh, around the skills you kind of have a orb around it and uh, like a clock that just uh, that start blue and go black around it uh, when your skill cooldown uh, go down so that's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, some characters uh, have has been improved too, and there's a, a few more uh, few more change. Uh, I guess I got a bug here on my screen. Uh, there's a few more change, guys, coming. Uh, let me just uh, go back on my page here, uh, just you know, to read them. Uh, just check the one that's are important. And uh, we'll go from there. Give me a sec, guys. I'm trying to actually open my browser. You won't see it on your screen, but I'll have it on my screen at least. <laughs> okay, so let's just go just look if there are any other important change coming guys give me a sec sorry about that I hate when shit like that happen okay guys uh, some characters model have been improved you have Gamora, Blade, Bullseye, Ultron, Mark 3, She-Hulk, She-Hulk all new, uh, Cassilius, uh, Ghost Riders, Robbie Rice, a demon bind skill visual issue has been fixed uh, using clear ticket 
to clear stage will now reward shield and alliance xp that is the most important thing coming to the game guys that is going to be awesome you can just use your clear ticket to level up you know and stand clear don't have any need to run the mission for six eight hours to get one fucking level after you when you're over level 60 which is going to be awesome uh, an issue where co-op player rewards not being given correctly in certain situations has been fixed uh, for the first time players the timeline battles tutorial has been improved an issue with a timeline battle over risa has been fixed a fix and issue with maximum skills ultimate weapon and evil trick where the icon showed and correct information fix problem with certain map where map effect were misplied a fix an issue where incorrect hero data could be shown in certain situation uh, animation has been improved when upgrading skills levels uh, custom gear or nor sword by the first fix that oh my god that's going to be awesome when you try to lock your your uh, your obelisk man that's going to be awesome a uh, certain uniform in the uniform room have had their associated logo had uh, first clear reward as a change on certain mission that's going to be awesome for a new player uh, team slot two and three will now open depending on how far a player has got through the game team slot two opens at shield level two team slot three open at shield level 10 uh, auto play is now unlocked as stage one three which is again awesome for new players uh, characters grow information now shows mastery and tear as indicator of your character progress awesome too and the one year anniversary package will no longer be sold it will be replaced replaced with the two years anniversary package Just can't wait to see what that package is going to be guys uh the one year anniversary package was pretty fucking awesome well we can actually uh take a quick look at it here give me a sec guys here hey i'm back here on the screen guys okay uh let's go in the store uh crystal yeah anniversary first anniversary package you were getting 11,000 crystal 150 bo uh 300 uh, norm stone selector 800 bams and 1000 norm stone of cows so uh let's see we'll see how much better the second anniversary package is going to be so guys that's pretty much it for uh this video that was a really long video i'm sorry guys there was a lot of stuff to go through uh guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated on the future content which is video and stream and don't forget to press the like button on the video on that guys i will see you as soon as 3.0 goes live in my live stream